Hello. So, <clears throat> this video that I'm creating for you right now is about construction in Vietnam and more specifically on Son Tra Peninsula, which is a big chunk of Da Nang. So, uh, while riding around, I've noticed lots of construction going on, tons of construction going on. So, this place is booming like crazy. And I'm going to focus on housing, uh, not necessarily high rises, which there, there are lots of high rises going up along the beach and big hotels everywhere. But I'm focusing on housing and the simple construction techniques. And then um, the second half of this will be on the finished product, what the facades look like. You know, everything is smashed together side by side. It's like uh, typically a dense city with uh, no yard space, very little green space, and where there is, it's being filled in quickly. Um, you know, five years ago you could buy a big chunk of ground here for nothing, and now that's impossible. Um, and uh, so I'm rambling. Let me uh, show you this video, construction techniques. Uh, steel uh, uh, ferro concrete frames filled in with brick very simple, easy construction, labor intensive and inexpensive because labor is so cheap. And then, and then the finished products and it's kind of a two part video. And I'm also going to give you a tour of Wa's place which is uh, a surfer hostel on the beach and the way he, he built it, the way he finished it, he had that built very inexpensively I'm sure. And uh, so, okay, uh, let's get to it. Brand new emptied out lot. It'll be interesting to see what goes in here. So this is a construction site right around the corner from my house. And it looks like they pour the flat footing and then they form columns with brick. And they insert the rebar into the holes and then fill those up full of concrete. But the forms actually are brick themselves. And I'm not sure what's going to go here. Probably another restaurant, like everything else around here. Uh, although this is quite a bit of su support, so it might be a taller building. I'm not sure. Um, and they pushed all this dirt into the hole right here where I'm standing. And anyway, so interesting stuff. I, that's some kind of sump, you know, the hole there. It might have a tank in it. Uh, who knows? Okay.
So here's a nice uh, project going up on Mansion Row. Uh, four containers and look he's doing infill with brick which is way cool looks like it's sitting on a platform that's made out of brick and four inches of concrete and nice fence around I love this fence yeah cool 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 except here I would paint this thing white I know it's fashionable to leave the container just the normal container colors but here I would paint it white because it's gonna be so freaking hot. Otherwise, okay. So this is all brand new. And in the middle of a bunch of different work going on. And these guys are putting something in this yard, maybe a pool. Maybe a pool, who knows? Okay. I think this is my favorite one out of all of them in the whole city. This is so cool. This is Wa's place. It's a surfer hostel on the beach. I'm on the bal balcony, but you know, he didn't do the rendering coat. He just left them raw. I mean, nice floors, and this is really nice.
Hey, so I'm uh, doing a video. My next video is going to be on um, construction techniques. Oh, yeah, I find them very intriguing. I grew up doing construction with my dad. And this place is pretty interesting because he didn't Super do any finish. He didn't finish the inside. Everything is like the stairs. Yeah. They're not, they're usually rendered and or they have a veneer of granite on them. Yeah. Right? It's like this. This piece would be extended all the way down the stairs. And I find it a trip too that everything uses brick. Like the walls that they make, they all use brick within the inside of the wall. Yeah, the infill. It's very interesting. They're all hollow bricks too. They have little holes in them. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're ceramic. They're baked. Ceramic baked brick. Yeah, uh, they're, they're like glass. They have a consistency like glass. What if I I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Wa. Wa's my good friend. This is Wa's place, the surfer hostel on the beach in in uh, south of Danae. Here's the kitchen. Great hamburgers come out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna to walk to the beach. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Okay. So I'm gonna to walk to the beach right now. And the resorts are coming in, and that's kind of a drag. There's Marble Mountain right there. So this is across the street from Wa's place, and I watched him build it, and it's basically a concrete frame, ferro concrete, you know, they use rebar and concrete and make a frame, and then they fill it in with brick. There's remnants, you know. And this has been rendered. Oh look, there's tile in, cool. So this is how they do wiring. They just cut a notch. Yeah, they just cut a notch in it and then fill the notch back up. And then this will get painted, most likely. Looks like some kind of step will happen here. Oh, this is a, a bathhouse, cool. Toilet, toilet. Toilet, cool, cool, cool. Nice, I don't know if this is gonna be a restaurant or just a place to shower or somebody's, somebody can rent it. We'll see. Looks like some worker boys have been playing cards and smoking cigs. Somebody's taking a nap. Oh, there's a pillow. Cool. Somebody's camping here, maybe. Huh. Yeah, when they they add the electricity, they just, you know, router out a notch. So there will be, you know, a sconce light up there or something. Some kind of lighting. Hopefully they don't put in a fluorescent tube. So, back up to Waz. The Waz place is right there with the blue umbrella, the one in the middle. 